Hey, it's me, your violin teacher, Violin Judy, and here is a practice video for our tune-a-day scales. This is page two, the D major scale. For this descending scale, we're going to start with three on A, and these are going to be full whole bows. Now two, finger one, open A, three on D, on D. One on D. And open D. This is the same as the first scale on page one, but instead of going up the scale from open D to three on A, we're going down the scale. We call this descending when we go down the scale. When we go up the scale, we call it ascending. On number two, we're going to use half bows and whole bows. Half, 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 Half now, whole, half, 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 whole bow, whole bow, whole. Now three on D. Number three, we need to start in the middle of the bow. And that way we can use a half bow on the first note and a whole bow on the second. And it'll work out. Three, two, two. D, half whole bow, half, half whole bow, half, half whole bow, half whole bow, half. Remember, you don't need to play the piano part on the next line, but on line four, we're going to go up and down. Open D, one on D, make sure you're using all of your bow, whole and slow bow, whole and slow bow, open A. When you put your one down, leave it down. Leave two down, leave three down. That's what the star in the line means. Three again, two. The little upside down V's between the note means that fingers are kissing close. Three and two, I'm setting close together. out number five. It's the same thing as number four, but we're going to do two slurred. That means we're going to put two notes in one bow. We're melting two notes into one bow. Ready, play. D, one, two, three. Down, more down. Up, more up. Isn't that pretty? Now number six is even trickier because we're going to do four notes in one bow. D, one, two, three, and a down bow, and then A, one, two, three, and an up bow. Number seven has three notes in one bow. Three, A, one, two, three. We're gonna do four on A to play E, and then three is a hold me, please. Note three again, three, two, one. Now four on D, one, two, three, four. Stretch that four up. Now one, open D, one, D. When we play one D, one D, we call that a turnaround, and that's so that the bowing works out evenly. On number eight, these are arpeggios. We're going to play broken chords. A D chord is D, F sharp, A. And so that's what we're going to play on number eight. D, two is F sharp, open A. Try to leave that two down. If you're fancy, you can do it. Three on A. Open A again. My two is still down. D, three, one on A, three on A. Three on D, open D. Number nine has two parts, two slurred and four slurred, just like number eight. I'll play both of those now. Now four slurred. If 
if you're having trouble, you can practice with a rest in between the bows. Now the three slurred is at the end of number nine. Here's the third part of number nine. <laughs> Those notes are D2, open A3, open A2, D3, one on A3, one, three, D, and that is the challenge of the page. Well, have a good week and don't forget to practice your D scales. You may not need to practice the whole page, but I know that you will do a good job and remember that empty notes, we're going to use big whole bows, and colored and quarter notes are half bows or less if they're slurred. Happy practicing!